Welcome to the Weka Technical Demonstration Series. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about AWS deployment. Particularly in this video, we're going to cover things such as the Weka architecture in AWS, how to go ahead and get Weka by going through the AWS marketplace, using CloudFormation scripts, and then automating deployment and viewing it through the native tools in the AWS console. With Weka, you're getting a data platform that is very, very flexible. In fact, we use the exact same code binaries, whether it's a dedicated storage server, whether it's a converged deployment where the applications run on the storage, or whether we run it in the public cloud, such as inside of AWS. Inside of AWS, there's a few things to understand about how Weka works. First off, we use EC2 instances, and we bind them together to form our data platform cluster. In this case, it will present the storage up to your compute application instances. Now, this being AWS, of course, you can attach not just existing compute, but additional compute and scale out at your applications as needed. In addition, on the back end, you can take this data platform and you can tear off to an S3 object store tr completely transparently for economics. Weka is available in the AWS marketplace as either an on-demand offering, or if you want to go for a long-term type of function, we also offer it as an annual or long-term type of contract. In addition to this, you're also able to do an AWS private offering in order to obtain your Weka software. The next step is to go to start.weka.io, where we have a planner for setting up your AWS environment. You can go ahead and put in capacity requirements, performance requirements, etc., and dynamically it will go ahead and give you your various options for what meets your requirements within the AWS environment. Once you do this, when you click Deploy to AWS, it generates a CloudFormation script that can be used with your AWS account. When deploying, you can also go ahead and automate the entire process. For example, Weka has an internal process where we use Jenkins and Ansible to go ahead and create custom environments very simply. We go ahead and enter things like the AWS stack name, version of Weka, how many hosts and clients, etc click build, and then within a very short period of time, it begins the entire process of taking the CloudFormation script, sending it to AWS, and doing an actual build out of the environment. This is completely API driven and should be able to be used with any automation platform of your choice. As the CloudFormation script is building, you can also switch over to your AWS console to see a view of this process in place. In this case, we're building the TME AWS demo stack. And by going and clicking through the various tabs, you can see the stack info, the events that are in place are being used to create the resources that are associated with that particular stack. And then of course, you can also check the actual resources tab itself in order to see the specific EC2 instances that are being used and built out. If you click through to the Outputs tab, you'll see a list of the management interfaces that are available for the various hosts in the Weka cluster. In this case, we'll go ahead and click on the first of, the, first of them, the backend zero, and it will provide us a web interface to log into the Weka cluster. Go ahead and input your username, and your password, and it brings you to the management interface. Within the management interface, you'll find that it's very simple to see what resources are available within the cluster and get additional information to manage the cluster. As you can see, Weka makes it very simple to go ahead and deploy high performance storage inside of an AWS environment. We can do it via a GUI interface. We can automate the entire process using APIs and CloudFormation scripts and provide a seamless experience for you to get the high performance storage that your applications need.